What's up fishing friends, Mr. Bass here. I've got something that came in the mail and I'm actually gonna break this into three separate videos because I've got three items that I ordered from Missile Baits. And when I saw these online, I was intrigued by this concept of creating a technique specific kit. And that's what Missile Baits has done. They've created a lot of kits. I just bought three of them. The three that kind of interest me the most at the moment, the Tokyo Rig Kit, the Pond Fishing Kit, and the Flipping Kit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three separate videos on one on each bag where I kind of break out each one and show you what they provide in it. And then I'm also going to take the time to include what I personally, Mr. Bass, would put in my own fishing kit for each of these techniques because there's some things that uh, I prefer over what they've shown and then uh, included and then there's other things that I totally agree with them on. So you're going to see this intro in all three of the videos but I'll be breaking down each one of these individually and uh, hope you enjoy it. So let me show you what comes in the Missile Baits Pond Fishing Kit. When I was going through the Missile Baits pre-made kits, fishing kits, the pond fishing kit uh, caught my eye and I think first and foremost this is the one I was interested in the most. The reason being, even though I fish uh, tournaments and lakes all over the country, I still love pond fishing. It's a blast and um, it's just, I don't know if it's because, you know, from childhood or whatever, but there's just something really enjoyable and really fun about fishing a pond. And I wanted to see what John Cruz was gonna include in a pond fishing kit. Now this doesn't say the ultimate pond fishing kit or the complete pond fishing kit, I realize that. But it's still, I've noticed these kits as I've started going through them, they still don't have enough, in my opinion, included in the kit but let me show you what comes in the kit first and then i'll show you what i would have added so one thing that they do all these kits have a card uh, that kind of tells you about what's in the bag and how to rig up some of the baits and how to fish some of them that kind of thing and then on this this uh, side of the card it has a picture of a few items like in this one it shows you how to do a wacky rig and how to put a trailer on a chatterbait should be self-explanatory but it's good i'd say and then you can scan the qr code and you'll get a video of john cruz telling you how to use some of the baits then there are uh i would say and i totally agree with him this is an essential pond fishing lure the chatterbait the vibrating jig has got to be, it is essential in the kit. So that was a good choice. And then to go along with that, he includes these missile shock waves. This is the shrapnel color to use as a trailer. And I'll show you what that looks like if you haven't seen these before. Looks like a perfect little swim bait for a trailer and I think swim baits in general are great for pond fishing as well especially this size and even maybe a little bigger uh, but uh, swim bait to use as a trailer and then you could fish it separately great idea next he has a couple of worms quiver worms he's got two sizes the bigger six and a half inch, which is green pumpkin flash. It's a good color, staple color. These quiver worms have this kind of flat spear pointed tail. I will kind of twist it so you can see. It's just super skinny. And I'm sure that in the water, this thing just, like they say, it quivers, you know. Uh, so this would, this worm would be uh, a fine shaky head worm, I'm sure. You could uh, Texas rig this worm. You could Nico rig this worm. You could probably wacky rig it if you wanted. Uh, but 
they're pushing the Neko rig, Nico Neko rig, for these quiver worms, I would assume, because they put some Neko weights in here. 132nd ounce Neko weights. That would go well with this quiver worm, especially the, the bigger one. So that's the six and a half inch. And then this four and a half inch is a, the color is Sunfish IPA. This little worm, you could also Ned rig it if you wanted to, but they don't include any Ned heads. So I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna include that in my kit. Not a bad looking worm. Then there's two other bags of worms. These are different. These are the called the 48. This is green pumpkin and June bug. Great colors for ponds in my part of the world for sure. And in his video, he mentions that the 48 is really a uh, replacement for a Cinco. It's like a Cinco styled stick bait. It has a uh, kind of a little bigger ends on both ends and then a, a little bit skinnier in the middle where you can put your wacky hook there. And it uh, looks like it'd be a fine wacky worm. And they do provide some wacky hooks. Some finesse, uh, oops, had it upside down. Some finesse uh, Gamagatsu hooks for wacky rigging and I think those would work great uh, size one so wacky rig and then uh, a neko rig and then you could use the same worm like I said for a ned rig and the bigger quiver you could use for a shaky head if you wanted so that does cover a lot of techniques so what do I think is missing especially if I ask myself what needs to go on the essential I know they're not calling this the essential kit. Oh, they also have a sticker. Let me show you that. It has a missile baits sticker. What I think needs to be added to the essential kit is you gotta have a spinner bait. That's just a no-brainer to me. 3 8 ounce is fine. The type of blades depends on the color, clarity of the water, that kind of thing. But I don't know how you can have a pond fishing kit and not at least include a spinner bait. To me, that's critical. Another thing that I think is absolutely critical is you've got to have a curly tailed worm. The quiver is fine, but I do not go anywhere without a curly tailed worm, especially ponds. It just is so versatile. And you need this little, the action that this tail makes on certain days. It's, it's critical. So I would Texas rig this and I would uh, flip it, pitch it, swim it. Uh, you could even burn it along the top, but that's critical. So in order to, for that to work, you're also going to need some worm hooks of some kind, two aught, three aught, even four aught would work, but you need some worm hooks. And you gotta have some bullet weights. And if you're only gonna go with one, I'd go with a, maybe an eighth ounce bullet weight. These are all tungsten, so they look even super tiny. But gotta have some bullet weights included in the kit and some worm hooks. Or some EWG hooks, but probably worm hooks with, with just the lures that I'm showing you. That I think is essential. The other thing that I already mentioned that I that Ned Rig. Fine, you got a Ned Rig bait, but you got to have some Ned Rig jigs, some Ned heads. That's uh, essential. It's a no-brainer. If you're going to have a pond fishing kit, you've absolutely got to be planning for the Ned Rig. Come on, man. That's just critical. I'd be fine with this little quiver because you could, you could leave the tail on and Ned Rig fish with it. And then if the conditions get really tough, you could bite the tail off. And you've got a perfect little stick bait for the Ned rig. So it's not like you need to add any Ned worms to the kit. The quiver probably takes care of that. But you got to have Ned heads at a minimum. 
And even though he's got a Cinco, he's got a stick bait that he would wacky rig, I just think you can't fish a pond without a Cinco style bait, a stick bait. I don't care if it's a Cinco or a Yum Dinger or a Strike King Ocho or these Bass Pro, what's Bass Pro call theirs? They call it the Sticko Worm. You gotta have a stick bait, I'm sorry. I know you can wacky rig this and it's a good alternative, but you've got to have a Cinco if you're going to fish in a pond. You just do. You can wacky rig it. You can Texas rig it. You can do a lot of things with it. But in my opinion, if you're going to have a kit for pond fishing, you got to have the original stick bait style worm. You just do. That's, that's essential. And uh, I like the fact that, like I said, that they have put swim baits in for a trailer, but I think you gotta have some swim bait hooks as well, some little jig head hooks uh, to, to swim these swim baits also, because at times swimming a little swim bait is gonna be lights out on a pond, absolutely, and this size is perfect. All right, the only other thing, the, the list is limitless, you know, you could include a lot of other things, but I'm just trying to keep it like I said, compressed, condensed, but without question, I don't see how you could have a pond fishing kit without covering all parts of the water column. You've got on the bottom, you've got that covered. You've got uh, in the center water column, you know, covered with the chatterbait and with the spinnerbait if you throw that in and with the worms, but you need something for the top. You gotta have a top water in my opinion. It does, makes no sense to have a bass fishing kit and skip the top water. So you could have any kind of top water you wanted. You could have a buzz bait. You could have a, a whopper plopper. You could have a top water plug uh, of, of some kind. Or you could even do the jitterbug. And I think if I'm talking about a basic essentials kit, that's probably what I'd throw in a jitterbug. They're cheap. They're compact, they're super easy to fish, they work great on ponds, and the bass love them. But an essential pond fishing kit has gotta have some sort of a top water, play, top water bait. It just does. Now obviously, there, I, there's other things that could be included, but at a minimum, these are the things that I think have gotta be in the kit. Uh, let me know if you agree. Uh, let me know if there's something else in the kit that you think needs to be added. I would love to hear that. If you find this information helpful and informative, if, uh, if you feel like the videos are worth your time, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. Subscribing really helps me out a lot. And if you'd like to know when the next video is coming out, hit that bell and uh, get not notifications for the next time I post a video. I try to post several times a week. And uh, like and share the videos also helps. I greatly appreciate it. This is Mr. Bass. And until next time, happy pond fishing.